from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, January the 10th, 2022. As talks between world powers and Iran continue in Vienna, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett made it clear that Israel was not obligated by any agreements that may be reached in those talks and that he would continue, as always, to ensure Israel's security. Bennett, in his first time appearance before the Knesset Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee, said today of the Islamic Republic, Iran tops our list of challenges. We are dealing day and night with Iran and its malign activity. Regarding the nuclear talks in Vienna, which restarted just about 10 days ago, Bennett told the committee, we are certainly concerned. It is important for me, he said, to say here clearly and unequivocally, Israel is not a party to the agreements. Israel is not bound to what will be written in the agreements if they are signed. Israel, he said, will maintain unlimited and unrestricted freedom of action everywhere and at all times. The Jewish Insider reports that eight members of the House and Senate are planning to launch a bipartisan initiative to support and promote the Abraham Accords, the normalization agreements signed between Israel and a number of Arab states in 2020. The Abraham Accords caucus will, the report says, be led by Republican Senators James Lankford and Joni Ernst, Democratic Senators Jackie Rosen and Cory Booker, Republican Representatives Kathy McMorris-Rogers and Ann Wagner, and Democratic Representatives David Trohn and Brad Schneider. Jewish insiders Mark Rod cites Rosen discussing the major steps and progress made since the signing of the Abraham Accords, saying that the Abraham Accords caucus will build on that success by providing bipartisan leadership to strengthen existing partnerships and widen the circle of peace to new countries. The American Jewish Committee welcomed the initiative, writing sustained U.S. leadership will be key to deepening the ties between Israel and its regional partners. Aura Herzog, mother of Israel's President Isaac Herzog and of Israel's ambassador to the U.S. Michael Herzog and widow of Israel's sixth president, the late Chaim Herzog, died last night. Herzog is being remembered for her military service during the War of Independence and her work in public service and social activism, including her founding and leading of the environmental nonprofit, the Council for a Beautiful Israel. Herzog will be buried alongside her husband on Mount Herzl. Jewish actor and comedian Bob Saget has died, best known for his work as the beloved TV dad on the sitcom Full House and the host of America's Funniest Videos. Saget also performed on Broadway in Hand to God and The Drowsy Chaperone. Saget died suddenly yesterday in Florida where he was on a comedy tour. He was 65. And veteran Jewish songwriter Marilyn Bergman has died. Bergman, together with her husband Alan, wrote the lyrics to hundreds of songs, including Papa Can You Hear Me from Yentl, It Might Be You from Tootsie, and The Way We Were from the film by the same name, for which they won an Academy Award and a Grammy Award. Marilyn Bergman died Saturday. She was 93. Well, the Golden Globe Awards were held last night, and among the Jewish winners, actor Andrew Garfield for his work in the film Tick, Tick, Boom, composer Hans Zimmer for best original score in the film Dune, and Steven Spielberg's remake of West Side Story was named Best Picture Musical or Comedy. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, January the 10th. At 7 o'clock, Tal Keenan and Brett Stevens discuss the Jewish future. At 8, instances of anti-Zionist activism are dissected by panelists Lord John Mann, Sarah Yael Hirshhorn, and Oren Jacobson with Susan Heller Pinto. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Aryeh Green on L'Chaim. At 10, Israeli author Anita Shapira discusses her biography about David Ben-Gurion with David Remnick and Stephen Zipperstein at the 92nd Street Y. And coming up next, Shahar Azani speaks with Sarid Zahavi about the Iranian nuclear negotiations taking place in Vienna, as well as Israel's fight against the Iranian military presence in Syria. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, January the 10th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.